Hello and welcome back to Lago Grania on Pioneer Map. This is episode 26 and it's all about the grass. So we'll be harvesting the big grass field today. Part of it will be done as hay, this part that I'm busy on now. And the other will be done as grass which will be put directly into the fermentation silo to make um, to make uh, silage. <laughs> Forgot what I was going to make there. To make silage so that we can get the TMR going for the dairy cattle. Of course, the beef cattle will just continue feeding just plain hay, which we'll make in the other part of the field. Some of it, of course, will go into the TMR and some of it will go to feeding the cattle. Let's get this onto a bit of a time lapse as we work out the boundaries and then we'll just put this onto a worker so that I can go and get a tether so we can tether this grass while the mowing has been done. But it do bit of a jump cut there um, just because there's so much to do so there will be quite a few jump cuts as well as time lapses in this episode um, but it is a pretty big job and we'll like to try and get through this whole lot in the one episode so off he goes all right let's get the small tractor out and go and pick up a Tether. Try and get a big one so that we can get as much done as quickly as possible. Got a bit of bit of cash in the bank, so we'll probably buy this outright. I think the potting go looks very good. Nice and big, nice big working width. This little tractor can handle it quite easily. 45 horsepower to spare. Look at that, we're done. Alright, let's get back to the field and start uh, turning over that grass, drying it out. Should put bigger, bigger tyres on this tractor. Might have to upgrade it sometime in the near future. Also, the class is starting to show its age now. It's needing to be repaired more often. I might have to think about upgrading that as well. But for now, these two will do. Alright, let's get going on this and then we'll put it onto a time lapse again just to show you the scope of the job. And then we'll jump cut in until we have to change over to something different. probably be when the worker on the, the mower is done. Oh, it doesn't make it look great. Fantastic animation. Right. As I said, we'll just do this on a time lapse. Go around the outside. I think you might be able to see the yeah, there we go, just in the distance there's the tractor with the mower on, doing its thing. Right, so I've just jumped cut. We'll put, a, put the worker onto the small tractor and the tether and we'll go and sort out the, the mower and start, start mowing that other part of the field grass part. Once again we'll do show you the outline and we'll probably get onto something else, put it onto a worker. Maybe we'll cut it as for ourselves until the tether is done. And of course we'll have to go and get a windrow. I 
do like this no it really suits suits me in the way I I work really a good piece of kit there we go let's put this onto a worker and fold this up and then park this up as I said we had bought this so we'll just park this up there around where the apartments are and we'll pop off to the store and go and get a tether. I didn't really think this through because really what I should have done is leased the tether and bought the windrow because I think we can be doing the windrow a bit more but can't change that now well I suppose we could change it now but it's not worth it I lose too much money selling the Potato now, so we'll just go and lease a windrow, and we should be able to do both jobs together. Because I'm guessing once I've windrowed the the hay, the grass field should be cut, and we can just get that done as well. I like this big one; makes nice big swaths, gets through the field quite quickly. And at least. Now I think the small tractor might struggle a little bit, but we'll have to make do. There we go. Let's get this opened up. And once again, we'll put this onto a time lapse till we've done the outside. Well, the headlands, the outside. I suppose it is the outside of the field, but. Let's get terminology right until we've done a headland. That once again shows you the scope of the job. There we go. Let's try and get those bits in there. Oh dear. I thought it, I thought it would just glance off that round bar. Now I'm glad we didn't buy it. <laughs> Don't tell the store. Don't tell the store that we are trying to drive straight through a tree. Here we go. Freed ourselves. <laughs> uh, as I said, please don't tell the store. Hopefully they won't won't check it. Got through that one right. Right, so let's just get the outside the headland done again. Now that I've got outside in my mind, it's all I'm going to be able to be saying. Yeah, you can see how it's really struggling, this tractor, to keep the actual windrow nice and straight. Right, so we've jumped cut to the end, and you can see I've changed the tractor. And that's all windrowed now. So as soon as the case had, well, I think we're still a bit left, yeah, just a little bit left. As, as soon as the case was finished mowing the grass field, I just swapped them over. And it's going so much better, so much easier. Once we've done this, we'll just drive on down to the, to the grass field and get that going. We'll do the headland. See, I remembered this time. We'll do the headland first. And then we'll do the time lapse again. Let's just tidy this up a little bit. Oh. That's a little bit better. That'll be a little bit easier somewhere down the line. Alright, let's get on down to that grass. a bit like a spider, doesn't it? <laughs> a four-legged spider. Let's get going. Let's put this onto a time lapse again. Get around the edges. There we go. Edges again. Oops. 
Oops. That can make some people feel a bit dizzy. Right. Got to work onto the job. It's pretty much done. Actually, great. I didn't put a work on the job. I did it myself. Lunchtime, so I sent the worker home to have some lunch. I just finished off the field myself. I'll get this done, and we'll have to go and organize a baler to bail up the, the hay. Because the grass will just do with the forage wagon and put it straight into the Let's get that back to the store. Drop it off. We need to fill up with some juice, some diesel. As you can see, the case needs a service. We'll do that when we get back to the farm. It's a little bit cheaper when we do it on the farm ourselves. But yeah, it's looking a little bit sorry on the servicing side so that's gonna be a few a few a few bucks it's gonna cost us a bit so uh, as I mentioned earlier we'll have to start thinking about getting something new right let's get a bail out you're gonna have to lease it so this is gonna be quite expensive I reckon about eight or nine grand for the but we'll eventually get the we'll eventually get all this equipment bought and of course the hay is going to be used in the production of wool and milk which will all go into the factories which will give us a good return at the end of the day it's just going to be a little while before we actually see that and of course the clothing well, the mill that will eventually put up in the to make the textiles and the clothing factory will all be run by local people. We will supply them, of course they'll make something else and out of it and uh, we'll continue to grow this economy that way. It really is starting to look good, the local economy. Right, that's a little bit painful that, but if it breaks down it'll be even worse. We still have to keep an eye and see how long it is before we have to service it again. Right, let's get the old bailer out and um, um, yeah, there we go, it's on this way. Unfold. That's the word I was looking for. And I was stammering like a... Well, we won't say. We will not be derogatory. Just a bit of... Brain freeze there. I wonder if this pickup is a little bit narrower than I think it is. A little bit narrow for the... I missed a couple of bits there. Well, that's all the bailing done. So we'll just get the bailer back to the store and can pick up the auto loader. Oh no, we can <laughs> I thought we'd do the auto loading first, but we might as well just pick up the grass first, I think. Let's get that all into the silos and then we can do the auto loader. And pick get the auto loader out and pick up the bales after we've done this. Yep, do it on a... It's all going well. Yep, just slow down here and uh, get back to normal speed and just 
show you the offloading of this and we'll also have to get the silo going producing I'll just switch it on so we can get the silage produced still got a little bit left there from the last lot that we did and then we'll get back and we'll probably do a jump cut to the end of the loading so that's that whole field loaded we got uh, around about uh, 400,000 litres of grass Is it 400,000 or 270,000? Can't quite remember. In any case, we've got plenty. I think it was 250,000 actually. It's just a section. Let's back up and we'll load that. And then we'll park this up and we'll go and fetch the water loader, pick up those bales, get those bales into the shed. And that'll pretty much be it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get this parked up. We have to get the jet wash out. I wasn't so worried about the light, I would have washed this first. I'll have to make a mental note to do it at some time in the near future. Right, here we go, pick up the autoloader and we'll get out to the fuel and pick up the first load. I think, I think we'll be able to do it all in one and a bit loads. So I think this takes 28 bales. to first load it up and then we'll do a jump cut until it's ready to be taken back to the shed. Okay, that's done. Just need to do a little bit of concentration just to make sure that they're loading up. It can sometimes be a little bit temperamental these auto loaders. Oh, when I say temperamental it's normally I've pressed something wrong. One more, I think, and then that'll be full. Yeah, so we'll head on out to the to the shed. And we'll see you there. Yeah, just about up at the shed. And the next time, once we've used all this, we'll have to think a little bit more about how we arrange these bales in the shed. So that they, because I won't be able to put this in straight, I'll have to put in a bit of an angle because we'll have to allow our axis in and out, and there will have to be su sufficient space for the TMR mixer feeding wagon to get in and out and be loaded. I might consider a TMR factory as well at a later stage gonna have to get a lot of a lot of feed for the for the dairy cows. And they will give us a lot of milk, they're already giving us ten thousand litres a day. And we know we're near full. So once they've reproduced and uh, we've doubled the herd size we're getting eventually we're getting somewhere over twenty thousand litres a day. Most, some, some of it I suppose we'll be able to sell just as milk and then another income, stre income stream. Incan income stream. But we'll get it right eventually. Still a couple of bales missing. I think there's still two missing. Yep, yep. There's one there. Three. Three missing. There's one there and I think there's another one up at the top here. Yep. Hiding amongst the bushes. I didn't clear this little section because I've left it not sure whether I'm going to need more space for this production area, but we'll 
we'll see when we get there later. Well, we're going to offload this and then that's that job done. So we'll call it a day. Thank you for watching. Always appreciated. Please like and subscribe as normal. Uh, let's just get this offloaded. Any comments, of course, would also be appreciated. Right. Magically offload the slot. What's taking so long? There we go. The bale sort of fell off there, but that's quite fine. Once again, thank you for watching and cheerio. See you in the next episode when we do some really big harvesting. Cheerio.